Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair of FFC here on Vanilla FM. And this is quite possibly the last episode I will record because, of course, FM24 is about to be released and I will definitely be playing the beta, so look forward to that in the next coming weeks. We are playing the Skybat Championship here on this version of the game, and this is the second episode for this uh, championship. And we are not rock bottom, but not too far from rock bottom. We we were expecting this though. We were hoping to avoid relegation, but so far I don't think we've been above the relegation zone. So this has been the highest place we've been to, 21st. Oh, actually no, we went just above 21st. We managed to go above, but I, I don't remember that to be honest with you. So it must have been just a mathematical way of, of being up there, but not at not actually for any length of time. We are now in February of 2036. Uh, I've made a couple of changes in the transfer window. In the winter transfers. We got two players on loan. Asquith Atkins from Crystal Palace as a defensive midfielder to replace Ethan Hill. And Luke Bell is back. If you remember, Luke Bell was on our, one of our main central defenders. He decided that he wanted to leave the club. So we sold him and now he's back on loan with us until the end of the season. And he came to replace Jaden Lott. So Jaden Lott is now actually... Wait, did he get sold out? Let me see. No, he got loaned out for a fee. Tyler Jardine as well is one of our pretty good, actually, uh, right defenders. He was actually sold out. So we made a tiny amount of money from that. Not much, but a tiny amount. Uh, yeah, so we spent quite a bit of money this year trying to improve the squad, but still, sorry, I keep doing that. It's the new OS, the new uh, Sonoma for, for Mac, uh, Mac OS. Um, it's become very sensitive to clicks and stuff. I disabled the um, desktop click, which would um, remove all the windows, but still it seems every time I go near that corner, it seems to... Oh, I haven't done it now. Oh, there we go. Uh, it seems to remove the, um, the game from the desktop. Anyway, let's go into a match with Nottingham Forest. Actually, let me look at the schedule. FA Cup. We've just been um, we've just been defeated in the FA Cup against West Ham. That was a pretty good game, though. No complaints. Um, obviously, if, you, if I'm going to go up against a, a league, um, um, a club in the Premiership, then I'm obviously going to lose because I'm struggling to make any headway with the Championship teams in the first place. So yeah, it's been a tough one. Um, in a way, I'm kind of glad that we've reached the peak because now the new version of the game is going to come out and we're going to start it all over again. I'm not going to transfer the save. I might do it just as a test, um, but not. Uh, I like starting all over again every year from a fresh save. Obviously, I'll be playing the beta. I haven't quite decided which approach I'm going to take with the beta, but um, yeah, we'll be playing that here so you'll be able to see it. We have been struggling a lot with League. I can't actually remember if there are any club improvements coming our way. Let me just see if I can um, pause the game and go to the club vision. Mm. No, I don't think there's anything coming. Board. Nothing. Nothing at all. No improvement to the stadium. Nothing at all. We did improve the youth facilities a little bit. But that was it. Nothing more than that. 
the youth is actually doing well both the under 21st and the under 18s obviously the under 18s are doing better they are topping the league consistently the under 21st uh they i think they are in third at the moment so they have been doing a lot better than in previous years So I'm guessing if we carry on playing this save, the outcome would be that um, Hereford would be relegated and we'd be going back to League One again. And I'm hoping we would probably win that. Although there's a chance we wouldn't because some of our players would want to leave the club. So we might actually find it tricky. the first half finished. Let's have a look at subs. And we're gonna go straight in with three subs. I'm wondering if it's the mouse. I'm using a different mouse today. So maybe I haven't adjusted it properly. It keeps overshooting when I'm trying to hover over. Yeah, this has been the league this year. Um, constant defeats with some wins, some draws, but pretty much constant defeats. So I'd be surprised if we managed to stay, stay in the league. I knew it was going to be tough, bearing in mind we had no money to do anything. Um, Although it has been better than previous years, so we were able to have about a million in the bank at the start of the season, but we used that up pretty quickly. There was no actual real money for investment in proper players with proper wages. Yes, I'm looking forward to playing the new version of the game. Um, it will be apparently the sort of the, the last version that looks like this, and then they're going to have a complete overall for 2025 with a new match engine and so on. But it looks good so far. I've been from what I've been reading in the blogs that they've been releasing, it looks pretty good. Okay, we'll catch up. In the next episode, I'm I'm almost 100% certain that the next episode will be the first episode of the 2024 beta. So make sure you subscribe for that and uh, get notifications so you can get notified as soon as it comes out. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Take care. Bye-bye.